right. <clears throat> Fortunately, I couldn't get the finding of this on camera, but now I can get the coin on camera. I found this metal detecting with my Garrett Ace 250 at, um, at a beach. I'm not going to say where, because it's kind of my, like my little treasure trove for wheat pennies. It's also, I also found a 1953D there. Not this time, but last time I was there. Let's get the, that's the back, you can tell. This is one cent. And, come on, you can focus in on that. Well, anyways, there's, yeah, there we go. There's the front. And if you look on it, it's a 1919, making it a 100-year-old penny found at a beach. Now, that's pretty old for a beach. Uh, even the 53D is pretty old to find at a beach. But it's a very old beach for around here. The beach has probably been around from the 30s, maybe? 40s? Maybe even 20s. Uh... Not very far away. I found it with the Garrett Ace 250. Helped with the Garrett Pro Pointer, not a pin pointer, a Pro Pointer. Uh, so yeah. It had a lot of sand on it, like crusted in on it. And you can see I have all those little divots. And most of them are from sand that was stuck on it. Very cool find. I think I'm actually, next time I go to that little coin shop I like to go to, I'm going to get a book of 1909 to 1940, and if I can find one of 1941 to 1974, uh, two coin books, so then I can store my metal detecting finds in them, because after 1974, I'm not going to really care about, that's basically just going to turn into change. But yeah. 100-year-old penny found metal detecting at a beach. Thank you for watching.